the consumer says, is the meat good? Is it healthy for my kids? Is it going to be cheap? Check. I'm good to go. Why should I, the consumer, be so concerned about what's going on? Because there's a concentration. So there's an oligarchy of power and control at the, at the top of the food at the top of the chain right and that trickles down to you so they are able to eliminate competition in the united states while bringing in cheaper lower quality uh, meat from other countries 18 other countries and they can put that on top of our meat mix it in the grind or mix it in uh you know you can go to the grocery store and you may have you may buy a cut of beef that says product of the usa but that does not mean that it is a product of the usa so basically what I'm telling you is as a consumer, you don't know what you're buying. You don't know the food safety because every country has different safety uh, inspection standards, right? Now they do have to go through um, an, a United States inspection standard, but it's not up to par as what we have inland here. So how it affects you is, is you're getting a lower quality uh, product at maybe a higher price because they, as a consumer is at a higher price, but that ability for them to import that uh, cheaper, cheaper cut of meat, uh, throw it into the American product, it oppresses our prices because there's no competition for it. So out of those 18 countries, are any one of them China? Yes. One of the 18 is China. Yes. What percentage? Just recently of made a, uh, uh, we, we made the, uh, uh, trade deal with China on this. And this was going to, this was supposed to have been started now, you know, during this COVID deal, the four main trade, uh, is Canada, Mexico, uh, New Zealand, and Australia. 